Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover, including an interesting debate that shows how people employ the use of word salad and semantics to downplay the issues and struggles of some people. And in this case, it was centered on Eminem after a viral post sparked debate. And we'll get to more on this in a bit. We also have more from 50 Cent and in a recent post on Instagram, it looks like he's in quotes low key sending a warning to the likes of Benzino. So if you've been with us for a while, you remember when 50 Cent was reposting clips and snippets from a recorded call between Benzino and Shauna Brooks that got heated to the point of Benzino threatening Shauna Brooks. And around that time, he also threatened to sue 50 Cent for in quotes reacting to those clips on Instagram. And back then, many reacted by referring to the situation between 50 Cent and Tierra Marie that didn't end well for her when she took that route. And a few hours ago, 50 Cent shared this. 50 Cent's lawyers catch up to Tierra Marie in Marathon Court grilling. And 50 added the caption, Eyes emoji, young lady, you're gonna learn to have respect for the legal system, whether you like it or not. Where's your friend Lisa Bloom now? She ran away and left you shake my head pouting emoji. You know you don't effed up, right? I want money by Monday. <laughs> Sounds like a low-key warning also aimed at someone who also recently threatened to use the law to come at him for trolling. And in reaction to this, a user expands, I know that's right, you're not gonna sue me, lose and then think you don't have to pay me. If she had won, she'd be looking for her money too. And here's a quick rundown of what happened here. A user expands, she tried to sue him for revenge entanglement videos that got leaked. Admitting to leaking the entanglement video herself, case got thrown, he sued her back and won, and now she owes him money and been running ever since laughing emoji. In this case, 50 said that he simply reposted what was already on the internet, which is pretty much the exact same thing 50 Cent did when he was clowning Benzino recently, reposting what was already on the internet. And before we head to the next point, 50 Cent's Get Rich or Die Trying OST just went platinum in the United Kingdom, another one to add to the list that shows 50 is worldwide, not local. And before we head to the next point, Royce of 59 had some good news to share recently when a user asked on Twitter, did not know death is certain by Royce isn't on Apple Music? And Royce responded, yes, I regained ownership of the master. New announcements coming soon, my good brother salute emoji. And moving on, in the last video, we explored a story of in quotes rap fans who were mad at Rakim for giving props to Eminem solely based on the fact that Eminem is white. This was abundantly clear from the post that started it and also in the replies. And around that time, this went viral on Twitter that sparked another round of debate centered on Eminem. Eminem be rapping like he been through shadism. And I believe the debates under this were fueled by the disconnection, mostly between how words are defined in the United States versus other parts of the world. And that spark takes like, I love him, but thought of this line immediately. Have you ever been hated or discriminated against? I have. I've been protested and demonstrated against. Laughing emoji. And when I saw this, I was wondering what was funny about this when there's proof of this happening to Eminem that hasn't stopped to this day. Refer to the last video if you missed it. There's plenty of examples in that video. And to this, a user response, shrug emoji, he was though, lol, discrimination, not shadism. And the picket lines and running over his CDs in the streets count for the other, laughing emoji. I've never understood that, buying something to destroy it. The money still goes to the person you hate. And here's what I mean, how the word is defined in the United States or Western world is not the same as how it's defined in other parts of the world. Check this out, literally can't part the definition, but prejudice is alive well in some. Were you around back then just curious? People don't seem to remember how unusual it was. He's talking about his own personal struggle, not systemic, but very impactful on an individual level, I imagine. And under this, a user replied, People are aggressively trying to change the definition of shadism to just be in quotes systemic shadism. We are reaching in quotes Orwellian level soon, it seems. Imagine being a foreigner living in, let's say, South Korea, and you call out your boss for shadism, and he claps back at you with, Well, you see, I'm not white, so I can't be shadist. And based on the in quotes US definition, it'd be correct. But back to the debate, some believe, clearly you've never been broke in an after place before. Struggle ain't never happened. Have a color fam 100 but as usual people would rather dwell on semantics 
Classism and shadism are two different things, they intersect, but they are two different things. But case in point, M was also targeted for his shade, so what's the end game of the semantics at play? Because it sounds to me that the goal is to invalidate the struggles rather than address the problems. Like what we covered in the last video, a whole thread of people bashing Rakim because he praised Eminem all because of his shade. The back and forth continued. It is sad how many people don't understand the difference between prejudice and shadism. To which a user expands, please read the first word. It shows prejudice, discrimination or antagonism directed against a person or people on the basis of their membership in a particular shade or ethnic group. It says typically, but not exclusively, to one that's a minority. But for obvious reasons, people stick to only one definition that is in quote systemic to invalidate what Eminem experienced. Even Dr. Dre called it for what it was based on shade. My gut told me Eminem was the artist that I'm supposed to be working with right now, but I didn't know how many racists I had around me. Everybody accept me. Here I am. Please accept me. I'm begging for acceptance. This is Eminem. Please. And the real definition backs Dre's statement, for sure. That's enough from me. Over to you guys. What are your thoughts? Tell us below in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoy content like this. And see you on the next one.